The Houston Space Center is one of the top tourist attractions in Texas, and because of that I wanted to break this video out of the Houston video so we could show you how awesome a visit to this iconic place is. At the Space Center you can explore cutting edge technology, witness integral parts of American history, and even touch a moon rock. Here's all the information on what it's like to visit the Houston Space Center and let's jump into it. From downtown Houston it takes about 30 minutes to drive to the Space Center. There are lots of signs and it's one of the biggest attractions in the city so it's easy to find. Today we're at Space Center Houston and I'm going to show you around. I'm so excited to explore here. For as long as I can remember I've been fascinated with space and so when we planned a trip to Texas this was one of the things I had to do. Be sure to get your tickets online and in advance if you're going in the summer or on a busy weekend. You guys look at this place, it's already amazing. This is just the lobby. This video covers a half day itinerary and we were here for about 5 hours. The first thing you have to do when you go in is to go book your tram tour as those are free but they book up very quickly. There is a paid add-on for the Mission Control Center but we didn't do that one. These are the different places where we landed on the moon. That is really cool to see. The four main inside areas are the International Space Station, Artemis, Mission Mars, and the Starship Gallery. It's especially great for the whole family as everything is very interactive. All right, Josh is trying to dock the space station up there. Oh, sorry. You see his green light up there? He's got to move it. I can't move to the left. It's broken. I can't go to the left. I'm broken. I'm stuck in space. The International Space Station was nice while it lasted. <laughs> this is Skylab, which was America's first space station in the 70s. And you can go inside of the reproduction of it. Skylab was used for about 24 weeks from 1973 to 1974. It's incredible to see how this piece of machinery functioned and how they lived inside of it. After seeing the International Space Station, I have to say that looks like it's a lot more comfortable. After leaving Skylab, you can walk right outside to the Independence Plaza exterior exhibits. I'm at Independence Plaza, which has the replica space station on top of the 747. You can take the elevator all the way to the top and then you can go in and check it out. That's where all the exhibits are located and then there's the tram tour, which we're taking later. Hi, Pops. Check it out, you can go inside. Over here, you have the actual controls. It's kind of crazy. I feel like my iPhone has more tech than uh, this does. And then over here, you can see what it looks like inside. This is especially amazing as it's the only mounted shuttle that the public can actually go inside. There's the airlock that they go into before they go out in space. This is what it looks like to sleep. There's a sleeping bag and you gotta strap yourself down to the wall. <laughs> Just like that. It pops, I don't know if you could be an astronaut. You have to lay in this sleep suit right here and then you have to strap yourself to the wall in order to sleep. Uh, I, I struggle with it. <laughs> After walking through the space shuttle, you can continue down the stairs and also explore the large plane that it's attached to. In here, there are many interactive exhibits that help you learn more about the entire moving process for the space shuttle. Exit in the 747 and the shuttle, and we're going to go see the SpaceX rocket before taking the tram tour. This is epic. It's the Falcon 9 SpaceX rocket that was actually in space and came back. Our tram guide told us this is one of two used SpaceX rockets on display in the entire world. SpaceX Falcon 9 first stage rocket. Its mission was in 2017. I'm seriously nerding out about this. Seeing the SpaceX rocket was amazing. I can't wait to go take the tram tour now. Our tram tour got postponed for about 45 minutes so it gave us more time to explore the Starship Gallery. This is by far the highlight of the Houston Space Center as there's so much to see and interact with and it's especially well laid out and beautiful. Be sure to watch the intro video before you explore. 
Hey, Pops, look. It's proof the original moon landing was faked. It's the all original right soundstage for the moon landing. Oh my landing. gosh, it was all done right here. I can't believe they wouldn't hide that. <laughs> We're just joking, we landed on the moon. <laughs> There's so much to take in here, you could easily spend an hour in this gallery. And you can touch an actual rock from the moon. I have officially touched the moon. It felt like... Felt like the Earth. A rock. <laughs> a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. All right, Pops, which one are we gonna try? Yeah, I gotta look at them all here first. All right, Pops, do the honors. Let's uh, see whether we could be astronauts or not. Ice cream sandwich. Ooh, it comes wrapped like a normal ice cream wow, sandwich look even. Oh, look at that. You, you went big, you got the Neapolitan. Yeah, I know, are you picking chocolate or strawberry? I didn't wow. think you were gonna pick strawberry, huh? I only totally go strawberry. Look at that. Looks like the real deal. Let's see Only this. hard and dry. It tastes a little bit like strawberry. <laughs> Maybe you'd think it was strawberry. So if you're floating in zero G, it might be a good snack? It's not bad, actually. <laughs> it's not a bad little snack. My turn, I kind of want strawberry, but you know, I don't want to eat off the same side as Pops, so got to do chocolate. I would say that that's better than I expected it to be. Yeah. I mean, it's like the first initial bite, you can get that crunch and it's really dry, but as the saliva gets into it, it kind of kind of becomes a decent uh, dessert experience. I would say I could be an astronaut if this is what they serve me. <laughs> can we leave a like for Pops' amazing zero G performance right here? Is that what zero G looks like right there? It looks like dancing. Take two. <laughs> that was the best one yet. Nice work, Pops. Good. <laughs> hey, look, you can also touch Mars. You can touch the moon and Mars here. We explored for another 15 minutes and then it was time to start the tram tour. Unfortunately, my dad had a work call he had to take, so it was just me who went on the tram. When I was there, the blue tram pass was included with your ticket. This tour is about an hour long and it visits the astronaut training facility in Rocket Park. After driving through what feels like a city in the space center, we made it to the astronaut training facility. Here you can look down on basically a replica of the International Space Station and this is where astronauts train for their missions. Also, there's a lot of new technologies that they're developing here, and it was pretty cool to be able to just walk through and see it all. As we were boarding back into the tram, we got to see an actual space rover that was out for a test drive. This was an added bonus I wasn't expecting. The tour then headed over to Rocket Park, which was our last stop. There are a bunch of rockets to see outside, but the highlight is what's inside. Heading inside is the Saturn V. Saturn V is the tallest and most powerful rocket that's ever flown, and it's one of only three on display in the entire world. This is worth the price of admission just by itself. It's one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. These rockets operated from the late 60s to the early 70s and were used for all of the moon missions. It was also used to deliver Skylab, America's first space station. The only bummer here is that you have limited time and there's just so much to see. I really wish I could have spent an entire hour just walking around and exploring. Absolutely incredible, you cannot miss this on your tour. Pops is back from his meeting, but he missed the Saturn V, which is a bummer for him. That's it for our time at Space Center Houston. Definitely come here, this place is awesome. And we will see you on the next one. Check it out, even the McDonald's near NASA has an astronaut with some french fries. <laughs>